Hi, I'm Sharita Cherry, and this message is for my beauty professionals and all my hairstylists out there today. Today, I just wanted to give you some food for thought. Um, Close your eyes with me for a moment and just imagine what your life would be like if there was no Bronner Brothers hair show. Now, this is not a message just to promote the Bronner Brothers hair show at all, but it's totally my opinion and my thoughts as I prepare to get ready for the Bronner Brothers hair show myself. But what would your life look like if you did not have the opportunity to connect with a Patrick Bradley, one of the top educators in the country teaching hair color and hair cutting um, to the urban market? You would not have the opportunity to connect with me, you know, a Sharita Cherry. You know, I serve as a mentor to a lot of stylists that I've actually met at the Bronner Brothers Hair Show. So that's a time that we can connect with fellow stylists and really get um, information and some of our questions answered. What would it be like if there was no Mazzani or Dudley for some of you all to showcase your talent on the stage? You have the spotlight for the weekend. You're a superstar. You're our superstar. Um, what would it be like if there was no educational classes that we can actually attend five, six, ten free classes um, for us to come back and bring to our community and really, really be that rock star in our hometown? So, For me, it would really be detrimental because I take those competitions very seriously because I used to compete in a lot of competitions. So when I was asked to actually do a judge the competition, it was an honor for me. One thing about when you win a Bronner Brothers hair show, you become an international competition winner. So no, this is not no competition that you win in at the bar, that your girlfriend, husband judging. No, this is a serious competition that we are trained on judging on the 30 point international judging system. So it's really, really serious. A lot of you look forward to coming to competition because you got money invested. You got, you're bringing your models, you're bringing your makeup, you're trying to come and win this competition. It's very serious for you because you're building up your brand. You're building up your resume. So as you prepare to come to this show, for some of you who are coming, and for those of you who are not, just imagine what would your career really look like? I have the same complaints. I'm no different. I mean, I'm I'm used to the black community. I'm from a black community. And I always get upset when I go to a restaurant and ask for chicken and they ain't got no chicken. But it's a chicken restaurant. How you ain't got no chicken? But you know, back to my point is that We got to be a voice together for Browner Brothers. We got to send a message to them together. We got to post our views. We got to post, um, share our thought pattern. They got to hear our desires and what we want and make a difference. Otherwise, we don't have a choice. But I've been to different shows all over the world and even out of the country. And it's nothing like my own. It's just nothing like my own family. Even with my events, I can cross over. But for the season I'm in right now, it's for my people. Because we don't get it. They've been getting it. But we got to get it. So I just wanted to give you some food for thought. Because as you become your brand and this stylist, we got to, let's not forget how it started. You know, Nathaniel Bronner started that company on education, educating beauty professionals on products. It was totally about education. So when you come down here to go to the ladies' parties or go to Lenox Mall, you know, I'm going to the hair show, but you hanging out at all the parties, you're not even at the show. So what difference does it make if they take somebody with a license or they don't let nobody with a license? You're not even there. But anyway, you come to town and your perspective on the show is devalued. So what I wanted you to do, and I challenge you all to do, is take pride in who you are as a beauty professional. Because it takes you in your salon, in your community, you make a difference. You know, a lot of things we don't think about, and for example, taxes. You know, I used to be in a certain tax bracket, but now I'm in another tax bracket, and I got a lot of problems that's going on now. So now I'm more active in that community. And that's the same with you. Um, how we should be, you know, as stylists, a lot of us are now becoming educators. How are we going to connect with these stylists, you know, to share our skills and our technique if there was no Bronner Brothers hair show? So yes, um, many of you may not support the show and many of you do, and you have the heart and the passion to do so. But I just want to give you some food for thought of How do we plan on changing this around? Everybody wants to change the career. Everybody got a new game for the beauty professional, new industry. We going to raise the bar. We going to change the game. We going to go to the next level. We got all that going on. But what are we really doing collectively? When things don't go your way at the show, you got an attitude. You're not ever coming back. Um, When things, you don't win the competition, you mad, we cheated. You know, 
We got to get out of that mindset and you got to work hard. We're so used to thinking that things should be easy. No, if, if I'm judging that competition and you get my score, you earned it and you better know you earned it. Um, if you go to the show and get what you came there for, your investment, when you get back to your salon, the goal is that you make that investment back. There's no excuse for you to be lazy as a beauty professional. It's just absolutely no excuse. As long as you got these hands, you can make money. So I encourage you to raise the bar on yourself, work hard, understand that it's about business. In order to be about business, you got to be about your business. Um, so just think about that for a day. Don't be sending me no nasty emails and inboxes because it ain't about that. I ain't hating on nobody. Everybody's doing a great job. But together, collectively, we got to be a voice. If nobody's saying something, ain't nothing being moved. Have a great day.